Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell because what I do here is all about Cardano. So last night I asked for one thing before I signed out of Twitter last night. Can you keep pumping Cardano so that I could wake up to a $1.80 ADA? At the time, it was about 163, 164. So I'm sure most people holding Cardano know what happened next. So we're going to jump straight into it. We look at some of the resistance levels and the common question I am getting now is, should I FOMO in now? And then the other one is, should I sell now to buy back lower? So I'll give you my opinion on all of that. Please give the video a like, leave a comment down below and share this out there. Spread the good word of Cardano and let's jump into it. So looking at the chart, that is an extremely nice looking chart for the 80 USD price right now. As you can see, when we hit this run up, we've hit the 189 resistance level that we had mentioned. We've hit that a bit quicker than I was expecting. But as you can see, when we come up and hit that level today, we got the bit of a rejection at that point. So the day isn't over yet. There's still lots of time. But for anyone who hasn't been following these types of levels, the reason that I had this marked on the chart is when we initially came up trying setting new all time highs back in May, you can see that is a level that we got rejected at. Once again, when we fell down through that after setting the all time high, we got rejected trying to get above it here. Couldn't quite reach it at this point and once again got rejected in around that 189 level. So this is a level that we would be expecting resistance. Once we get above this, there really isn't a whole lot in terms of history of trading in around this level to stop us going on to set a new all time high for the ADA price. A lot of people are calling for it today. I don't think it's happening today, but in within the next week or two, as non-financial advice and all of that kind of stuff, have to put that in there, unfortunately. These are my opinions. I am not selling at these levels. For me, question I'm getting right now is, should I sell to buy back lower? So lots of people are looking at these huge green candles and normally when we see a pump like this, I would be expecting a fairly heavy retracement. If we go into the four hour, we can see it a lot better. So after this type of move, you would expect a fairly decent pullback in the market. But with what Cardano has going on throughout August, I'm not really expecting a major pullback. Yes, we are going to get pullbacks, but not to any major levels, I don't personally think. I think we will continue on. Overall, the trend is going to be up for the next few weeks as we come into smart contract launch. And we also have the summit happening in September as well, mid-September, where we should get some good announcements at that. I do expect there's a few things that will come out there that haven't got any airtime yet. So as we get smart contracts, yes, at that point, I would expect maybe the day two days before we will get a decent pullback in the market. That's generally what happens with a launch. And then depending on what happens with the Cardano Summit, any good news that comes out there, that's when we can really see the markets hopefully take off again, along with news of different projects launching on the Cardano blockchain as well. The A to BTC chart is hitting some important points as well. If we look at this here, once again, we'll come out to the daily just to show the big picture. As you can see, this is the uptrend we have been following. So when we hit it today or yesterday, actually, we got a huge bounce off that support level. Right now, we're looking at trying to break out of the triangle. Again, this is what I've been talking about, that I expected the breakout of this to come to the upside. We haven't got it yet, but I do think that is coming in the next few days. Once we do, then we start to look up to the five to 6,000 sats level in around the launch of smart contracts. So if we look at the pattern I drew in the video where I talked about potential prices for August, which I'll link below if people want a more in-depth look at this. If we look at, that's just a comparison chart. This is the one here where I drew on the pattern. So if you didn't see that video, basically that was copying the pattern from here, from the last run up, which was the Mary hard fork that brought native assets on chain for Cardano, overlaid that here. You can see we had fallen out of it, but with the pump over the last two days, we are right back into this track again. We would need another pump tomorrow to keep us in line with this before getting the pullback then. But right now, things look fairly good on that stage. On the 80 USD chart, you can see that again, from copying the pattern on this chart, we are exactly in form with that right now. 
if we were to stick exactly to this pattern, which we're not going to stick exactly to it, these were just used as trying to use some of the historical evidence we have to see what we can map onto the chart to get an idea here. So again, you would expect a bit of sideways right now in around this 189 resistance point. Again, it's funny how these things try to line up. These aren't correlated at all, the pattern and the 189. But when you do map them on here, you can see based on the previous pattern, it would show a lot of resistance in around the 189 point. But again, let's see how the next few days plays out. If the markets start to move later on tonight, I might come on for another live stream and see how things are going at that stage. One other question that I have got as well on this is if we go back to the ADUSD chart on the RSI. So if we look on the daily, you can see we are starting to get very oversold on the RSI. Generally in trading, when you get oversold on the RSI, you would expect a pullback in the market. And again, in normal trading conditions, you would get the pullback based on this. But if you want to look back at this, so the last time we were this high on the RSI, is all the way back here in the run up to the Mary Hard Fork, which brought us native assets. And you can see that right in around here is still a bit higher than we are currently on the RSI. Was back on February 10th, we got a huge run up here, got a bit oversold, so over the next few days, we had a bit of a pullback before taking off again. So I would expect something similar over the next few days, not any major pullbacks, but definitely maybe pushing through 189 up to $2 and then getting the pullback, getting support around 189 would be the ideal scenario. Anyway, we'll see how that plays out. So on smart contracts as well, Charles put out a video yesterday talking about that things are moving very, very well. On Friday, we will get the official date of when the hard fork is going to take place. They have decided internally when it's going to be. They're just talking to exchange partners today to see can they all make that deadline. So if they can, then it will go ahead with the date that they have picked. They also have a backup date if they need to push it out further. But there's a lot of speculation going around about the lobster on Charles's mic. Is the hard fork going to be on National Lobster Day, which is Saturday the 25th of September? But I do have to say that it is not going to happen on that date anyway. And the reason for that is because this hard fork event has to happen on the turn of an epoch due to the way that the software is updated. You can see here that the 25th of September, where are we here? 25th of September falls on a Saturday, which is in the middle of Epoch 292. So if it was going to happen around then, it would have to be the 27th, but I think it is going to happen a lot before that. By the way, Charles was talking, I would be expecting the 31st of August, worst case, pushed out by five days, again, to take into account the Epoch turn. As soon as I get the information on that, I will be sure to put that out. In summary, Things look extremely good for ADA right now. I'd expect a little bit more pressure on this 189 level before we can finally break through it. Again, if going by the RSI, if we break above this 189, break up to a $2 level, maybe get a pullback, get support around 189, that would help reset the RSI and leave us ready to launch up even higher. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you have got some value from this. Please share it out there, give the video a like, leave a comment, and I will be back with lots of updates very soon. Thanks for watching.